Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to check out another song, another video from Winter Sun on one of these beautiful Winter Sundays. Now this one is called The Waltz of the Vampire and according to what the video said on YouTube, this uh, Yadi believes that this was the first song that he recorded vocals on. Ever. Really? Ever. And I, I haven't heard the song, we're going to hear it now for the first time. But in the comment section it says that he did more harsh vocals. I think, I think he said that he did only harsh vocals because he didn't like the way... He didn't know how to do clean vocals properly or whatever. So, and there's also some solos he said that he was learning how to do. Like, so this song, I feel like it's probably, if not the first track, it's very close to being one of the first tracks that he, he ever recorded, that he ever did, that he ever composed. So, pretty cool if you ask me. <laughs> All right? Uh, and you can tell that it was probably one of the first ones because it's really short. Because the better he got, the longer the fucking songs went. Yeah. So, which I, I always think, uh, my some of my favorite Winter Sun songs have been the shorter ones. I mean, even Death and the Healing, yeah, six minutes, but compared to fucking 12 minutes of time... Uh, yeah, it's a long time. Yeah, it's a long time. <laughs> All right, on that note, uh, Vaults, Waltz of the Vampire's Legendary Early Demos. I love that he calls his own demos legendary. He knows, he knows. <laughs> fuck, he's not humble at all. Like, he's fuck, not these humble. are fucking legendary. All right, so you ready for this? Yeah. Very vampire like. I didn't see that coming. Somebody got a Casio for their birthday. <laughs> it goes down an octave. I think that video, by the way, is Yari coming out of the sauna with his arms wide open. We fell asleep, that's why he's always like this. Ah, oh, this is cool. This is really cool. I pre-ordered already, so I, I, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I I think this is one where perhaps the word legendary is a little bit mm, of a stretch, of a stretch. But 
I, I just want to say this. On the last Winter Sunday that we did, somebody in the comment section said that, what is this shit? Dudes, the, these, these are, are demos. demos. These are not like... Like, this is not like... And this is shit that, like, he definitely went through the time to try making it sound as good as possible, meaning that, like, this is the best we're going to get of these demos. They probably sounded 10 dude, times they're, worse. They're, they're demos. Like, you have to keep things in perspective here. They're demos. He made this shit, like, early on when he was a fucking kid. Like, well, not a kid. I'm exaggerating. But, you he know... He was a kid. He, he was, he was a, a young Padawan. Like, he was not not the Jedi <laughs> Master that he is now. Like... Like, what the fuck were you doing when you were his age at this point in time? Probably playing with Legos, masturbating to, like, fucking Sears catalogs. I, I don't fucking know. Sears catalogs? I don't know. That's what it came you know to mind. funny? Money. Last time I saw a Sears <laughs> sign, even, uh, it, there's one at a mall near us that have, like, dinosaurs and shit in the mall. Um, it's, like, from the 80s. That mall is almost abandoned, and there's a fucking Sears that's, like, closed down, like, abandoned Sears inside. Oh fuck! It was big back in the day. It was so big were the back catalogs. In the day, yeah. yeah, people but used to like jerk off to the to the bra and panty section. People. Anyways, who are these people? Ah, people out there. People. Uh, people out I hear there. people tell me. I hear things. Wow. Anyhow, um, it's a common common thing to talk about. Like, you know, it's, 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 it's I've learned from the best people. When people ask you about, well, definitely there was someone before you. Yeah, somebody like somebody started that trend. You know, it was it went viral. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, let's get back into this. What do you take from this waltz of the vampires? He came a long way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's come a long way. He's come a long way. Somebody bought him a Casio uh, for his birthday. Dude, he really overly did that shit. But uh, <laughs> fuck, it was like what, up an octave, down an octave, up an octave. Dude, it was like, <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes I, I think it was more than just one octave. Uh, to be honest with you, sometimes the it would come in for like two seconds if you didn't hear it, like because it would be stuff over it, and it just sounded like sound bits, like on the soundboard. Like, he was like, okay, it sounds cool. Like, if I put it there, oh, I'll put it there. I'll, like, also, the vocals was just that little piece, you know, which tells you that he wasn't really comfortable, like, singing or, yeah, or whatever. You know, the okay, you know, like, when you back in the day, um, when you got like an like an, the first Mac stuff or even like old Microsoft stuff, it came with like garage band or whatever and it had a like, midi player and yeah and it had like the beats or it had like different like things or had songs that they made even youtube has like old old when youtube came out stuff like that right uh that's what some some of the sound bites sounded like pre-made stuff from like microsoft studio that, it, it that rem- comes it, on your computer back in the day guys when i was uh when yari was doing this uh i was at home uh, playing um, Orion from Metallica, the instrumental track, and then me and my buddy recording vocals over it on on my tape, and then passing it around at school as our demo. <laughs> and people are like, "Fuck, this shit is good, dude." But the vocals are shit. But 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 uh, this sounds familiar. You know, like this sounds familiar. You should have found a smaller band that sounded good. But back, back then, Metallica wasn't what it is now. But they were still Metallica. But they were not what they are now. It doesn't matter if you found like a smaller band. Hey, we got away with it for a very long time. It was not until the Black Album came out that people like clued in on what that song was from back in the day. Wow. Oh. You guys could you guys should have kept doing it and selling them like yeah this is our band stuff you know yeah just like Lars would have loved that shit no but you wouldn't have got like you guys would have sold a lot of copies up until people found out we were like the this. Milli Vanilli of metal but <laughs> <laughs> instead of lip singing we were just getting somebody else's uh, instrumental track and recording vocals on top of it so anyways that's like what the I was JoJo Siwa of, so uh... so that that is what I was, like we were doing TikToks before there was TikToks it was yeah, just man. that we we're doing on TDK tapes. So, and anyhow, uh, and there was no visuals, it was just the fucking audio. Um, I remember that like as if it was today, man, because the, the, the double boombox had a mic built in into it, and we were not too close so that it would not superimpose like tremendously over it, so we were enough to make it sound like it was like mixed in, uh, like, you know, rough mixed in, but it was like like a demo, right? <laughs> Fuck. Good, good old times. Good old times. Anyhow. That's what I was doing. What the fuck were you guys doing before you decided to criticize Yari and his brand new Casio that his mother bought him for Christmas? So fuck it. It's 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 rough. It is very rough. It's rough, but it's a demo. It's a like, demo. It's it's a demo from a long time ago. I think what makes it sweet is the fact that it you know it is. Let me see the time frame. History. So it says 1995-96, dude. 1995-96. I was. I think I still. I, I think I was still getting some Legos. At Christmas. Never mind a Casio. I was getting Legos. What do you mean? You came to Canada in, in what? 95? 96. 
Bro, you came to Canada in 96. Fuck, what's wrong with Legos? I still buy Legos now. I still buy Legos now, too. Yeah. yeah. So, Nothing wrong with Legos. No, I was always a big fan of Legos. That's what I'm saying. Like, that was my goal, was to build, like, the Death Star in Lego. Like, not back then, because they didn't have it. But yeah, you, know, yeah, you, know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And this guy was fucking recording this shit. 1995, 96. That's exactly when I came to... Uh, to Canada. To Canada, yeah. Fe- features cool, dark, mystic, yet melodic synth patterns. Once again, I think he's taking some liberties here. Yeah, legendary was definitely not the words I would I think use. legendary, I would not use that. Uh, definitely not. Uh, cool, maybe not. Mystic, what? maybe. Yeah, I'd use mystic. I Electric found the sound organ. haunting. Yeah, the, the, sound, the sounding, uh, the sounding is haunting because it has this old horror movie vibe to it. You know those... those those uh, movies where like it sounds like found for like if I went to the attic right now if like our house was like thirteen hundred years old and I went upstairs to the attic and there's like fucking I'm reading this I, don't know. I, I had to capture this particular sound I had to play a pattern on a very slow pace and save it on my synth memory then connect cables to a synth to my eight track tape machine and recorded the sound tricky part was that i had to speed up and match the tempo that's why you have those those, different those, those changes those changes. The tapes. yeah that's why you have those Fuck. changes uh yeah all right that was guys that was fun yeah. Yeah, you can't hate on it it's time to stop hating on yadi for this come on I'm not hating. I'm just... It's fun to see, like, where he was yeah, in 1995, 96. That's, but that's what I'm looking at I, I really like the demos, but I'm liking the fact that he's telling us exactly... The story behind the them. The story behind it. I think that adds to it. That, that's all, that allows me to say, like, this is not... This is so shit. Like, that, that allows me to, to actually see the beauty in it, but at the same time criticize the fuck out of being like, eh, what, what the hell was that? Like, and then I went like... Listen, like the guy like has really a massive pair of cojones to release this shit. I, like, considering the shit that he does now, I would, have kept this I would shit not 90, release this shit. Especially because he's a perfectionist, I would not release this shit. This shit would stay in there. I would burn sense. that hard drive. I would burn that hard drive. If I was, uh, like, imagine him sitting there with his, his glorious, like, you know... Like, elf-like presence. Elf-like presence, and then he and he puts it on, and then he listens to it, he's with like, his ah! And then, because, you know, for a fact, he's like, oh, my God. What was, what was, sh- I, what was I thinking? If I could go back in time and stop myself, I would. Like, I don't think you would, because if you don't do this shit in 1995, 96, you, you don't, don't, do don't become the, the person yeah. that you are now. Like, this is all part of your growth. I, for as much as I'm saying I wouldn't showcase this, I think it takes knowing who you are as a musician and feeling really comfortable in yourself and the... your own skin to release this stuff. But I think the beauty of it is really a history lesson of where he was, yeah, the yeah. birth of Winter Sun, the growth that became eventually the band that it is now. But you know what? I also think, well, not, you're not only seeing the birth of Winter Sun, you're seeing the remnants of Inseferum. Also the birth of Inseferum. The birth I mean, of uh, Inseferum. Remin- birth the, is first in Winter after, Sun. After Inseferum yeah. and then before Winter Sun. So I think that's why he's releasing it because I would never release it. But that's because, like, if I was a musician, my fans wouldn't like it. The, but the thing about Winter Sun fans is they're not Winter Sun fans. They're Yachty fans. So they're, they're more... I think there's a Venn diagram where the two meet. Yeah. And, I, and it's I, just a circle. And I, and I feel like, I feel like uh, these people, they're, they're more like us, where it's like, I like this because I'm seeing a journey of a musician that I really enjoy now. It's the people saying, like, oh, shit... You guys are not true Winter Sun fans. So you are, don't get it. So you don't get it. If you were if you were a true fan of not only the band but the the mastermind behind the band, then enjoying it is not it's a, like a diary. Yeah, enjoy, you're like like listening to these enjoying, demos is like you don't have to enjoy it. Like I didn't enjoy the song, but I had I thought that has a lot of lulls. But I, I had fun listening to something that a musician that I highly respect made when he was close to my age. So, you know, there there's beauty in that. So that's that's where that's why Winter Sun fans will always flock to. I think that's why he he put it out there because he's like, I know my fans. My fans will enjoy this because for they, what it is. For what it is. And dude, some I do, dude. I won't wake that, up tomorrow morning saying, you know what? I want to listen to that Vaults of the Vampire again. But that shows that shows. But that's okay. The heart in Winter Sun fans. But that's okay. The Winter Sun fans are like the Marines. Hoorah! <laughs> Wow, that was a Actually, weird one. Like not the really. Marines. Not really. I was killing because isn't the marine thing the the few the the few the 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 few the brave or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Because there's so little guys like 
they go become marines because it's hard as fuck. But then they're so powerful because of the fucking marines. I don't know. But I don't know no, where you're going with there's this. There's not a few Winter Sun fans. No, no. There, there's a legion. Yeah. There's a legion. The legionnaire of Winter Sun fans. The legion of... of I was going to say the legion of... But Vin. I better not catch anybody listening to this on the train. Yeah, yeah. This, this Guys... This is for those special days. This is for the days where you're like, you know what? This is good for Halloween. Like, you know what I mean? Play in the background while you're giving out candy and shit like that. Everybody, it has that vibe. Yeah, everyone's going to be like... Oh. Dude, it has almost like a little bit of, of, of Mike Myers vibe to yeah, you it. Know what? You know? If you play this at like a very slow, you know, audio, um, you can you get past it as a background music because no one's going to be like, that's What's true. that song? Like this song is gonna be so much put in this, the background. Put this on a tape. No one will notice. On tape. No one will notice the fact that it, it drops off a little <laughs> bit and then goes back. Like no one will notice. I know those. Those are all the beauties of these early demos. Anyhow, guys, we'll be back next Sunday with another one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Apparently, there's a few out there. We thought there was only two. <laughs> we were five. wrong. Uh, there's five. And I by think. the time next week happens, there'll there's be probably six seven. or mm-hmm. seven. So uh, let's see. Let's see what happens. We'll be here on Sundays. Uh, for as long as there's new material for us to check out. Exactly. Now, uh, obviously, we we would not leak a song on, on Winter Sunday that Yari hasn't put out on YouTube. So we have so to... we're only doing those ones. We're, we're, we're dependent on him. Whatever he puts on YouTube, we will be using it for these videos. Unless that's he's it. like, hey guys... No, mm, that's not going to happen. It's not. But anyways, nice thought. So on that note, guys, we'll see you all... Uh, well, we'll see you all tomorrow. But for those of you that only come here for the Winter Sundays, we'll see you next week. See ya.